My students often ask me the difference in pronunciation of words like sun and sun, meat and meat, and right and right. And you know what? Each of those pairs is pronounced exactly the same, even though they're spelled differently. In this video, I'll go through a list of common homophones, or words that sound the same in English, but are spelled differently and have different meanings. As I just mentioned, words that sound the same but have different meanings and different spellings are called homophones. The prefix homo means same and the root word phone means sound. So if you put them together in the word homophone, it means same sound. There are so many homophones in English, so I'll give you a list of the ones I think you'll most likely use. I've categorized them based on their vowel sounds. That way, if you've not yet mastered that particular vowel sound, you can watch another video on how to pronounce that vowel. Now let's get started with the list. Since there are so many, I'm not going to give you the definition for each word. I want to focus on pronunciation in this lesson rather than on vocabulary. If you're unfamiliar with a word, just write it down so you can look it up later. Let's start with homophones that have a long A sound. A long A is pronounced A, just like the name of the alphabet letter A. Eight and eight. I'm going to pronounce for you each word of the pair, but notice that they sound exactly the same. Don't let your eyes fool you. It's time to develop your hearing. Break and break. Male and male. Sail and sail. Wait and wait. Way and way. Now here are some common homophones that have a long E sound. And a long E is pronounced like the alphabet letter E. E. Beat and beat. Jeans and jeans, meat and meat, peace and peace, sea and sea, sweet and sweet, weak and weak. Now here are some common homophones that have a long I sound. A long I is pronounced I, just like the name of the letter of the alphabet, I. Bye, bye, and bye. I and I, sight and sight, right and right. Now here are some common homophones that have a long O sound. And a long O is pronounced just like the letter O. O. Close and close, hole and hole, no and no, nose and nose, so and so, toe and toe. Now here are some common homophones that have a short E sound. A short E is pronounced eh. Don't forget to relax your mouth when you say your short vowels. Eh. Red and red. Now R-E-A-D in this case is the past tense of the verb to read. It's pronounced red just like the color. Weather and weather. Now here's a homophone pair that has a short I sound. A short I is pronounced I. And again, don't forget to relax your mouth and tongue when you say this vowel. I. Which and which. Now here are a couple of common homophones with a short U sound. Short U is pronounced a. Uh. It's also a relaxed vowel. Relax everything in your mouth and your tongue. A. Uh. Sun and sun. One and one. Here are some homophones that have a long double O sound. And a long double O is pronounced like this. Ooh. Do, do, and do. Two, two, and two. Choose, and choose. And here's a common homophone pair that has a short double O sound. And that is pronounced uh. Wood and wood. 
Now let's look at some homophones with R-controlled vowels. R-controlled vowels are all a vowel sound plus an er sound. Here are common homophones that have an ear sound. An ear sound is a blend of a short I plus an er. Ear. Deer and deer. Here and here. Tear and tear. T-E-A-R, in this case, is tear, like in crying, like you have tears. There is another word with that same spelling, T-E-A-R, that's tear, and that has the meaning of to rip something, like if you were to tear your clothes, rip your clothes. Now here are some common homophones that have an air sound. An air sound is a blend of the short E plus the er, air. Mary, Mary, and Mary. For me, in my dialect of English, these all sound exactly the same. There are some regional dialects in the United States that pronounce all or some of these differently. But for the majority of standard American English, we pronounce all three of those the same. Mary, Mary, and Mary. There, there, and there. Very, and very. Where, and where. And here's one homophone that has an OR sound. An OR sound is a blend of an O plus an ER. OR. And that's FOR and FOR. And here's one homophone pair that has an OUR sound. An OUR sound is a blend of OW plus ER. OUR. OUR and OUR. So there you have it. There are lots of English words that sound the same, but have different meanings and different spellings. Can you think of any more of these homophones? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and share this enlightening video. If there were any vowel sounds you are unfamiliar with in this video, take a look at a video on how to pronounce them. Here are a couple of suggested videos for you. And thanks for watching.